Okay, now we're gonna do Shift A to adding a plane to start with, and then we're gonna go to the tab, go to the edit mode, and making sure we select all these two vertices, and go to the side view, hit E and Z, just grab something over here. Doesn't have to be super precise for on the lens wise. I'm just trying to create some shapes. All right. Then next, what we're going to do is to hit the Control R to adding some loop cut. Just kind of scroll the middle mouse wheel and just getting something going on here. So add of something of that. And then because right now we have a, is only two super scene plane. So what I'm going to do is adding a solidify modifier. So go here, uh, solidify modifier here. And then what we can see here, we have some thickness going on here. So what I can do here, I can just kind of drag it out and to getting some thickness. And also if you go to the side view, you will realize this is not a really even thickness. So we need making sure to check this box. Okay, so cool. So this is good. So we can simply apply the uh, modifier, go back to the object mode, apply. And then if we tap it out, then we have geometries for this side view. Okay, so this is something that we want to get ready to start with. And then we're going to use Control R to adding some loop cut. Okay, and three loop cut, Control R. Let's do another three. So it should be fine. So next, we have all these geometries. And then uh, what I'm going to do here is three to select the face selection mode, select all these faces. Okay, making sure you save some uh, faces on the edge. So this is how it works. Okay, and then I can hit X to delete the face, and then go back to the edit mode. Now we're going to build this uh, loops. Okay, select all that. And uh, also this one, this one, this one. And then what we can do next is hit Control E, and uh, you have an edge selection menu. So we what we need to do is bridge edge loops. Okay. So now we have something going on here. And then we're gonna select all these, and we're just going to. Uh, fill this face hit F to fill that and then we're going to continue to finish this shape hit F to fill that okay cool the shape looks all right but uh the geometry is not properly done because there's some angles and uh, there's some or long strip of a uh, uh, rectangular so this is not a good so what we need to do next is we wanted to creating some bevels and making sure all the parts need to be properly beveled. So hit number two, and uh, we're just gonna go with edge selection mode and select that holding shift. And making sure you select all the edges that you wanna select. Right now I'm holding uh, control and shift to do that. Okay, just getting all that done. So this one edge, so we are gonna making sure these edges being selected. Okay. Take a little bit of time, but you need to get it done properly in order to achieve a good result. Okay. I'm making sure this edge. Alright. So we get that selected. Get that we just select this, okay, and this, and this edge, this edge, okay, this edge, all right, and I think that's all the edges that we wanted to select. And um, yeah, so what we need to do next is we're going to do a bevel, uh, which is Control B. Just do that, and then to drag it. I know its shape looks a little bit off, but that's not really big deal. So we can fix that. Click left click, and then we'll go back to this menu right here. 
So we're going to make sure the segment we're using is two segment and the shapes is going to go all the way to one. Well, in this number is going to remain the original shape. Then next, I'm going to change the middle outer from sharp to arc. OK, so that is everything we need to do. OK, let me double check. So everything is being properly done. Hmm. I think this is finished. OK, so cool. So now once we start editing this, we will be able to come back to this bevel um, operation. So this is something that I pay attention. OK, that's good. And uh, edit and go to the vertice selection mode. Next, we're going to connect some points, right? So we're going to see like these two hit J to join it. And then this one, same thing, hit J. And we are just trying to fix this uh, geometries with the proper topology as needed. OK, so that is good. And this corner, we need to do that. Right, it's pretty easy. Hit J, just join that. J to join it. And then right now we have uh, two ngongs. So basically this is a big ngong. So what we can do here, we're going to hit Control R to adding a one loop cut. And then I'm just going to connect these two vertices. Hit J to join them. And then right now there's still not enough. So we're going to do another loop cut, Control R, click. And then what I can do here, I can select these two, hit J. Right now, this seems like a triangle, but it's actually qua, which means two, which means four edges. OK, so that is perfectly done. OK, same thing here, Control R, do that and select these two point, hit J to join it. Now, next, we're just going to make sure these are done properly, hit J. Select these two, hit J one more time. And last but not least, these two, hit J. Now, the thing has been properly done with a good topology. So let's see what we can do here. Hit Tab, come back to the object mode. And this one, if we don't do any subsurface modifier, this looks too sharp and doesn't look that very photorealistic. And uh, what we need to do here is we're going to hit Control 2 to adding a subsurface modifier with two subsurface uh, levels right here. So you can see we have this. And this looks beautifully done. All the sharp edges and looks beautiful. Then we can do right click, shade smooth, and it's done. So that's everything we need to do. And for me, I think this little gadget or this small model is works really beautiful. So, and uh, this is everything I want to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching.